Hello everybody, thank you for your visit. The topic for today is biogeography. The word biogeography comes from Greek, bio that meaning life, geo meaning ear, and graphy meaning description of. Together, these three root words give a description of the word the organisms are found on the ear. Then, biogeography is the study of the distribution of all the species, plants and animals around the world. The biogeography tries to explain what led to the worldwide distribution of a species that exists today. The movement of the continent is one factor affecting the distribution of the organisms on the earth. The continents were part of the hot box of a solid rock called Pangaea, formed by plates. Scientists have found that the plates have been moving very slowly for millions of years in a process called continental drift. Continental drift has caused a big impact on the distribution of the species. Another way to distribution is the dispersal. That occurs when the organisms move from one place to another. Dispersal can be caused by wind, water, or living things, including humans. Many animals move on their own, but plants and small organisms need help to move from place to place. Wind and water can carry some seeds, the spore of fungi, tiny spider, and other small organisms. Living things. Organisms may be also dispersed by other organisms. Example, birds can eat some fruit in one place and deposit the seed in another place in its waste. Humans are also important to dispersal organisms. Sometimes intentional carrying seeds to another place and planted here, and sometimes unintentional as when the insect can be transported from one place to another by human. When one organism is carried into a new location, it's considering an exotic species. There are some limits to dispersal. Not all the animals can be transported to another place and living in this new location. There are three important factors that limit the dispersal of a species in the new place. Physical barriers, competitions, and climate. The physical barriers like mountains, oceans, rivers, deserts, and others can limit the movement to the organisms to a new place. Competitions too. When the new organisms enter in an area, they must compete for the resource with the species already there. This competition for space, water, or food is becoming a barrier of dispersal. But sometimes the new species out compete with the existing species, and the existing species can be displaced. The climate is a typical pattern in an area over a long period of time. There are differences in climate like temperature, rain, and sunlight that can limit the dispersal of the species. Example, the climate changes dramatically as you move up a tall mountain. Then, the climate determines the distribution of the species in the different parts of the mountain. That's all. See you soon. Goodbye.